my next guest you may remember as Bulky on the sitcom Perfect Rangers Strangers. Okay. He went from comedy to drama in the film True Romance, then went on to play a real psycho in the TV movie The Langoliers. Welcome Bronson Pinchot, everyone. <laughs> Oh, bet you can't get enough of that. People yelling bulky, huh? <laughs> All right, now, when I walked in here, I looked at that woman's back, which, of course, there's quite a lot of it showing. I looked at it, I touched it, I came up, you introduced me, we started talking, and she just went, oh, it's him! <laughs> so, <laughs> what, I, what I'm basically saying is, what, huh, you do, I think you better come up and sit with I me. I think you better. Time. Just come up and sit with me. I think you better just, Come up and sit with me. Just get comfy. And then uh, go on. Oh, all right, we'll continue. <laughs> you see, the thing is, this is sort of more of a date talk show than just a regular talk show. It's a thing where you can just pick up women with... With abandon, Plunging really. backs. <clears throat> you know, ever, these Hollywood ever... marriages just happen so fast, don't they? What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. She's yes. got such gorgeous eyes. Oh, thank you very much. Um, do you want to hear something really interesting? I can leave if you want. Uh... <laughs> you want to hear something? That's not your husband, is it? No. No, all right, because I know he could kill me. You know what's interesting? <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, what's interesting? Um, have you ever heard that expression? <laughs> have you ever heard that expression, someone says, like, you can't be a little bit pregnant? Yes. But my girlfriend actually, as of this moment, we found out that she is a little bit pregnant. Oh, not so by me, of course. No, oh, no, of course not. No, but uh, we, we, no, we've been trying to get pregnant. I'm sorry. And, uh, <laughs> and, and there was supposed to be a thing that after 12 days she would get her blood tested and then we'd find out if there was a thing in the blood. I mean, I saw my sperm on TV and everything. I'm sure you, Did you've you seen now? it too. It's called Perfect Strangers. But no, I, have, I saw my sperm on a monitor and then as I was driving here, she was getting the results and she said, there's sort, of, there's sort of an enzyme that could be like if you're pregnant, but I have to go back tomorrow. So I'm sort of pregnant. Have oh, a good show. We're sort of very happy for you, aren't we? But you'll be too happy. <laughs> so, you know, it's especially lovely that you're picking up women on national television. No, but then. we're just friends, aren't we? <laughs> we're the kind that, like on Ricky Lake and stuff, we're just friends. But <laughs> secretly, we want to be lovers. <laughs> but you know, have you ever seen Ricky Lake? Yeah, my daughter loves it. What's the, the daughter? You have a daughter? Yeah. Go sit down. <laughs> no, how could you possibly be coming on to me if you have offspring? <laughs> how old is your daughter? Eleven. She's eleven? Yes. She can play with our daughter. Our daughter's ten. Well, we said. Really? All right. You know, there's something really <laughs> sick and kind of bizarre happening here. I'm not really the, sure. The thing is, wait, but hey. I, I think I'd probably better just focus on Stephanie now or she might get mad and kick both our asses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Lisa, everyone. You see, the thing is... Can we change the channel? Sure, go ahead. Can we just change the channel? What is it? What are we seeing here? We're just seeing really sort of a very, very, very... It's actually very... your sperm. Uh... <laughs> Do you know that some of them have two tails and no heads? Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, I know that sounds like the setup to something. I'm not quite sure what. Is that a slip have... or is that part of your uh, suit? It's part of my suit. Well, oh, that's You're true. an inquisitive little fella, aren't you? Well, <laughs> see, the thing is... No, I think we all know. You see, it's not inquisitive. It's just when you see a lot of flesh. For instance, Lisa. Now, she is showing... She's showing as much flesh as Suzanne ever showed in her whole career. I mean, basically, right now, right, with the dress. You're basically and then, of course, stalking someone in our audience huh? now, aren't you? Ba basically doing what? You're basically stalking someone in my audience Stalk now, aren't you? Well, better this way than that. You know, it usually it goes the other way. But, uh, no, I was interested in that. I was watching the monitor, and I was thinking, you know, either we're going to see a little bit more of Miller, than, but, or it's, it's stitched on, but, which, of course, it is. Do you want to see something really interesting? Uh, well, if you feel it's necessary. I have to be... I've been on this diet, because I, I have to be... No, I'm not, not going to show you that. There isn't a screen, there isn't a screen. I, I just want to say something, wait a minute. There isn't a screen wide enough to show that, but I just well, want to say know. one thing, come here. I just want to say something. Can you stand up? I just want to say something. 
See, I'm doing this movie in January, and it, I, uh, part of it is, is in a, is in a, a house of prostitution, mm -hmm. and, and I have to be naked. So, of course, I had to go on a diet because, there, you know, who wants to stay in shape all the time? But I've been losing weight. Now, there's a sound pack in back. Though, but look, just stick your hand down there and see how... <laughs> You can, this is a four-finger situation. You don't well, have to. I was just you showing know, you. It is very small. No, don't, don't go. Oh. Thin! Thin! I meant thin! It's very thin. Could you come here? Could you come here for a second? Could you come here for a second? This has turned into Ricky Lake, Lake somehow. Uh. Tell her after the show you're going to kick her butt for that comment. Am I getting paid? <laughs> you know, while you're up here, wait a minute, while you're up here, let me just find out with you two. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I, I'm Thank sorry. You. Go ahead. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. No. Give him a nice round of applause. You see, you see you know, it's, one of the things, no, one of the, one of the things is, for years, I used to, it used to torture me. I did uh, Perfect Strangers for seven years, and at the first year, you would go on talk shows, and there would be something to talk about, i.e., last year I was on welfare, and now I have a, a TV show. And then the second year, there was something interesting to talk about, because at one point, I changed the part in my hair from right to left, and that was fascinating. And then there was just, we got into the third through seventh years, where there was just nothing to talk about. I used to feel bad. And then I realized having nothing to talk about basically puts me on a par with, uh, Charles Perez. You know what I'm saying? It just puts you on a par. No, there's... Why Why should you have something to talk about? I don't know. You know what I mean? All right, you it's know, your turn to talk. All right. Thank well, you know, I, I, for some reason now I'm obsessed with your sperm. Yeah. Um, are they healthy? Because you saw them on TV. What do yours look like? Are they, just, are they healthy fellas? Yeah, they are. They're, they're, a few of them are just completely dead, of course, and some of them don't have heads. But most of them are just swimming around crazily, and it's quite exciting. I'll tell you what happened. No, I can't tell you what happened. Go ahead. All right. Uh are you working? You know what I love is all your accents, of course. Are you yeah. working on any new ones, or...? I wonder if I am. <laughs> no, because the thing is, I don't really realize when I'm working on them, because I don't have, like, a repertoire, like, you know, a little... a little no <laughs> high school notebook that you open up and go to the orange tab and go, ooh, an, an Irish accent! <laughs> I just, like, whatever I hear, I do. And so, you know, like, when I did Beverly Hills Cop, I didn't... I, I had, used to have this makeup woman that talked like that. And she got on my nerves, and she, she had this weird accent, and she had this weird attitude. And then a few months later, I, they, somebody said, can you come up with a weird character? And I said, uh, oh, yeah, I have a weird character. And I just, I just did her. And what was and that accent do her, again? But what, what was it supposed to be? She was Israeli. But how did it go again? I forget. But... Well, the, the th her, her name was Lily. And the thing that she used to do is she used to have... Well, she was doing makeup, you know, on, on, on makeup. It's very, very important to get the color just right so you look somewhat like a human being. And she used to wear really dark sunglasses while she did my makeup. And, and she also had, a, you know, no bra, and, which was fine, but then she had these <laughs> T-shirt these creations that had these long things with knots tied in them. Lisa, I'm sure you've got a few. <laughs> but anyway, I... Don't make that noise. Lisa, tell them it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. So anyway, um... Is she, and she, so she would be doing it with dark glasses, and I would say, Lily, excuse me, before you put any more makeup on me, wouldn't you like to see uh, what color my face is? And she would say, Bronson, shut up, I don't care what you say, it's just stupid. So I just... <laughs> no, but at the time, at the time, it, it really wasn't, it really wasn't all that funny. Well, and it is now, though. Fortunately, no, I wish you and your sperm the best wait, wait, of luck. Wait, 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 this must be some sort of kiss-off. That's, well... All right. <laughs> Well, I was going to stick my hand in your pants, actually, but uh, thank you so what, much. What time does this show go on? <laughs> I think I'll just, I'll just make around? some coffee and sticky buns while it's on to sort of uh, <laughs> just kind of distract the attention of the girlfriend. You're so. not going to leave, are you? <laughs> no. Um, um. <laughs> it was really, truly a pleasure meeting you. You and thank Lisa you. now can go back and get a room. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> Best of luck with the new movie. There he is, Bronson Pinchot, coming up next, Richard O'Brien. It's Riff Raff, the co-star and creator of Rocky Horror Picture Show. We'll be right back. <laughs>